I'm Sarah Fragani with Kins 5 News. Now, a man wanted for murder in Tennessee is now here in San Antonio behind bars. Investigators believe Kenneth Jackson murdered a man in Memphis back in June. Law enforcement there issued a warrant for his arrest on the same day as the murder. They say the next morning they learned Jackson took off to Texas and the marshals picked up the investigation. They searched for months before they finally located him in San Antonio. Jackson will be transferred back to Memphis and he now faces charges of first degree murder, among other charges. A mass shooting at a biker bar in Southern California has left three people dead and six others injured. The shooter is believed to be a retired law enforcement officer. He was also killed at the scene. The shooting happened at a bar and restaurant 50 miles southeast of Los Angeles. According to the nonprofit group, the Gun Violence Archive, the U.S. has seen at least 465 mass shootings this year. School is off to a shaky start at one area school district. A COVID outbreak has forced them to shut down. Families in Rungi ISD in Carnes County received a letter saying all schools will be closed this week. Unlike last year when it was mostly students who had COVID, this time it's mainly teachers and staff. As a matter of fact, the school is now reporting 20% of teachers and staff have COVID and that includes the superintendent. Schools are closed until Friday. Monday will be a staff development day. Students return on Tuesday. And the trial is set to begin for a woman accused of killing an aspiring rapper at his apartment two years ago. 21-year-old Sasha Scare is charged with murder in the death of Martel Deru. He was found shot to death in his apartment on La Quintero Parkway in January of 2021. Police say Scare was caught on video walking the halls of the complex with a gun and that neighbors heard an argument before the shooting. Now to the case of a teenager whom authorities believe was a sex trafficking victim and it all started with a conversation on social media. 33 year old Martin De La Rosa is accused of sexually abusing the 14 year old girl. According to the arrest warrant, he met the victim at the age of 13 on Facebook. Police say they found videos of De La Rosa giving the child drugs and having sex with her. I get a phone call from ACS and they, you know, basically said they don't know what happened, they need to investigate it, but our dog was euthanized by accident. Animal Care Services now making policy changes after two dogs were euthanized by mistake. ACS says the dogs were placed on hold by foster groups before they were euthanized, and now they're looking at tweaking the process in order to euthanize an animal. ACS first sedates them, then a few minutes later gives the medication that kills them. And this is where they want to make a change so it does not happen again. ACS says from now on, they will allow the euthanization process to be stopped even after the animal has been sedated. New numbers from SAWS reveal the problems with infrastructure. SAWS says a prolonged drought, heat, and customers ignoring watering rules are making it challenging. As of today, SAWS is dealing with 754 breaks and leaks for August, surpassing 729, the number for all of July. They were expecting August to peak at 965. SAWS has 52 crews working around the clock to repair these brakes as quickly as possible while also still working to keep the crews safe. The FDA is warning people to stop using two eye drop products. They cited potential bacterial or fungal contamination. Regulators said Dr. Bernie's MSM Drops 5% solution and Light Eyes MSM Eye Drops Eye Repair could cause vision and life threatening infections. However, as of this week, no one is believed to have reported a problem yet. I want to check in with meteorologist Palmerales for today's forecast. All right, let's take a look out there, Sarah. It's going to be a hot one today. High right around 101, mostly sunny skies. And with the humidity, heat index today at 106 degrees, it is going to be a very warm evening and hot for the next couple of days. And that's Kins 5 News Now. I'm Sarah Forgani. See you tomorrow.